Uh, okay, I'm going with a, a pretty pretty straightforward one. No, uh, but it, another okay. stat one, but less. It's not a combination of, of stats. Um, Clemson has a double digit sack uh, product a producer this year. Ooh, I buy. I buy. I buy on that. Yep. Keep in mind, Clemson has not had a player hit double digit sacks since 2018. I believe Cleveland Farrell had 11, I think, in 2018. Um, so it's it's been a while, and it's, it yeah. kind of shows you, and, and it's kind of indicative of sort of the decline that Clemson has had uh, from a sack production standpoint from the edge position in, in particular. So, um, yeah, I I'm going to go sell. You're selling right now. Okay. That's tough though. I like because so I, I, I think the guy that I think the guy to do it would be TJ Parker, but yeah, I, that's what I say. And the reason that I the that reason I say buy, I it's not it's not an easy buy, I don't think. Yeah. Um, but the reason that I like it is because TJ Parker now has opposite him Peter Woods. Yeah. So I don't like I think you have to you're not gonna be able to put as many resources over there to key on TJ Parker, right? Because you got Peter Woods on the other side, right? Um, And I think you got a couple other guys behind them that could kind of play some key roles um, in that rotation. So it's not a like clean cut. You don't have to think about it, but I think you're right. I think we will have a double digit sack guy and I think it'll be TJ Parker. If I had to pick somebody, he would definitely be the one. All right. Yeah. And, and man, that would be that'd be refreshing to see because I, I think um, somebody was close. I think Trenton Simpson was close in 2021. I think he had like nine or nine and a half. Uh, but uh, yeah, we, we, ha- we haven't had a uh, yeah, we, we haven't had a double digit sack guy in, in six years now, which is hard to believe, given Clemson's pedigree on the defensive line. Uh, All right. I got I got one for you, Jordan. All right. Uh, I got one for you. This is going to be about Cade Klubnik. All okay? right. So get ready. Cade Klubnik throws twice as many touchdowns as he does interceptions in 2024. I think that's a pretty easy buy. Uh, BYOG, I'll say. Because um, he did it. Technically, he did it last year. He threw 19 touchdowns, nine picks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I and, and I I do expect Cade to be better than he was last season. Now that's that's obviously has a very uh, wide range of um, meanings. So like that that could you know that could mean okay, well he maybe he doesn't fumble as much, but he still throws the same amount of picks and and doesn't hit. You know he's still like sitting at around twenty six hundred yards and maybe twenty touch twenty one twenty two touchdowns instead of nineteen. And maybe he he runs for a couple more scores, or it could be a massive jump. But I I, I do think that he will. I, I do think he can. I think two to one in Garrett Riley's system is pretty attainable because as, as disastrous as Clemson's turnover issues were last year, he still threw more threw more touchdowns than interceptions. Now, when you factor in fumbles, I think that's a different story. Which is honestly, I think that would have been a, a tougher question if you said total turnovers versus to, uh, if he had twice as many touchdowns as total turnovers. Then yeah, that would, that would make me think. That's true. I should have done that. That would have made it a lot harder. Dang, but, I wish I would have thought about that. Yeah, um, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, but I, but I, 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 but if I, you know, honestly, even then, I would still maybe I would sell. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I, I'd, I'd have to think about that one, but yeah, two to one, I think is, is pretty attainable. Um, and it should, honestly, it should, that, that, that should at least be uh, what happens. Um, so I'm gonna go BYOG there. 